Hey guys, welcome back to Jamal Rule 16. I am your host Javon, and today we have a brand new benchmark. A shot of the Tomb Raider for the PC. A couple days back, this was just released on Epic Games for free, which is pretty crazy to me that this the, all the trilogy is free right now. That's amazing. This has a lot of content. I love the Tomb Raider series. So I decided to show you guys some benchmarks on the games. So they'll be running Shadow of the Tomb Raider on the Intel Core i3 7100U with the R Intel HD 620 integrated graphics. 16 gigabytes of RAM, not 8. Don't mind that 2x4. That needs to be 2x8. Uh, we're going to see today how the game performs. Now, the CPU is actually a really crazy bottleneck for a lot of games because it only has a 2.4 GHz. It doesn't have a boost clock, but the GPU is what's really being pegged here, obviously. We're running at 800 by 600 on the lowest preset. I do have it at the resolution modifier a bit, but it's still eh. It's still not doing the best, but let's get into it, man. I am not doing 720p on this. I'm sorry. It's not happening. The Nintendo 620 cannot do 720p unless you're playing the game at 16 at 15 FPS. Let's go. Now, I remember testing this on my i5-7200U, and this is exactly how it played, which is crazy to me. Do channel RAM makes absolutely no difference. I mean, I'm, I'm joking. It does, but it makes it more stable, if anything, and it does give you extra frames, but... Like I said, 800 by 600 is not playable either. It just can't do it, man. It just can't maintain it. I think the CPU and GPU are bottlenecking right now. It's quite crazy. Where did Dominguez go? He can't be far. He must be in the courtyard somewhere. Yeah. So right off the bat, you're seeing the type of performance we're getting here. This is not acceptable. So we're going down to the very bare minimum from the beginning. For those of you who have integrated graphics, I want to see if this is even playable for you guys. We're going to go all the way down. Like, all the way down. Did that boost much for me? No, it did not. Let's get into it. Now, to be fair, this is a demanding area. As you can see, there are a lot of characters around here. We're going to continue playing at this area and just see what happens. Now... The 15 FPS does seem extremely smooth. It is smooth. I, I'll give you that. I'll give it that at the most. I love testing this area because it's a quite a demanding area. And then when we get outside, it isn't. Because there's nothing outside. So it really gives you the best of both worlds. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoy these types of videos, man. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. I enjoy doing videos on all these benchmarks for you guys, man. Leave a comment down below if somebody would like to see me test next on the channel. And how do you feel about what are your setups? What do you run these games on? Are you lower end than this? Because if you are, yikes. But leave your system in the description down below. Comments down below. I'd love to see what you guys are playing on. Okay, so we're going to go to this area with all the groups now, and obviously FPS is starting to pick up now, because we are running on the lowest. Um, I'm not going to try any higher, because the whole point is just to show you guys the game will run on Intel HD 620, for those who don't know. And I'll show you how much FPS you'll get with it. This is bare minimum stuff. Alright, uh, you know what? I can see you guys up there. I won't waste any more of your time. Y'all keep on trucking. Thanks for your service. We're still in the quite hectic area here, so we're just going to walk through it. It's not as hectic as out there, but it still is demanding. Like the CPU, my CPU usually is going to drop once I get outside, I believe. But here, it's going to be rough still. Excuse me. Believe it or not, I played Rise of the Tomb Raider at this type of FPS the entire time. I beat Rise of the Tomb Raider around this FPS. It was single channel RAM. I, you imagine you can only imagine how bad that sucked because there's a lot of stutters if there's one thing about dual channel memory is you don't get the stutters anymore you get low fps but the stutters are gone because you have the ram to support you now it's a lot faster in reading reading the environments which is always awesome 2022 guys dual channel ram you need it even if you got two gigs of ram get another two gig stick anything you just need a dual channel ram it'll help yeah yeah i heard you Single channel round, I don't even think it'll be hitting 20 FPS right now. My fault. Like I said, there's too many characters on screen. And this takes up a lot of RAM. It's also Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Look at that, 100% on all cores. Like, that's no. But it will drop. Someone set off a trap at the first sight. We think it was Croft. Wait. What's wrong? I want confirmation. 
I'll make sure we get visual confirmation. Never good when the GPU is the one that's the saying, nah, I think, I think the CPU the can handle it, the CPU can't we'll handle it. Okay, good, we're going to get out of that air with all those people now. And then look, the CPU is already starting to d dip down. Doesn't have to see as much. I also play titles from Red Army until the C6 menu, single channel memory as well, up until I got the RX 570. I enjoyed it. 15 yeah, FPS caps are amazing. Dominguez wants confirmation Croft is here. You have this is this is the only way to actually get enjoy these games. 15 points. FPS caps, 960 by 600, perfect. I remember playing it like this, dude. It was awesome. It, I felt like I got some enjoyment out of it, but you got to do the 15 FPS cap. You can't afford to be running at 20 Fire. FPS and 30. You can't afford that. That way, it always will stay at the 15 FPS because this is one of those. This is a slow-paced game, you know, for what it is. It can handle it. And as you can see, we're at 100%. We've dropped down to in the 60s. It'll keep going up and down, obviously, but it'll drop. Jonah, they've entered the dig site. It's fenced off, and there's a guard at the gate. I'll find another way in. I found a good spot. I'll watch the perimeter. And here we are now. So without everyone else now, look at us. We're getting over 20 FPS. It's running. We're finally away from these people. Over 30 FPS in all. Like I said, frame cap this to 15 FPS. If you really want to play Shadow of the Tomb Raider on Intel HD graphics, frame cap it to 15. Trust me, it'll be a great experience. Because your GPU won't be bottlenecking you. Because you're not pushing it as hard. Obviously, this is a benchmark it's test, so I have to let it just fly like this. But yeah, that's what I recommend. My pyramid. Also, this engine has no tweak, so you can't tweak Shadow of the Tomb Raider in any of these games. You really can't, so you can't expect more performance from these games. It's quite unfortunate, to be honest. Take him into the ruins. Should be far enough out of your shot. No, no, please. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. I ain't gonna make this harder than it needs to be. Boy, da! He just got stabbed. Mr. Lead Archaeologist. I feel like he'd be dead. I don't think the guy would hesitate like this. I, I keep saying to myself the guy never hesitates like that. I've done seen that scene like twenty hundred times at this point. I won't hurt you. Hey, I can't make out anything, and this is the lowest of the low, but it runs. I can't believe it's not butter. Well they've been searching for a temple entrance for many years. Today they found it. I have to go warn my sister. She's on her way here now. This looks terrible. <laughs> Jonah, this looks Trinity terrible. Just tried to kill a local but hey, once again, whole point of channel. It runs. To find what they're looking for. It runs. The game runs, and I can't do anything else about that. Get ready for Operation Blackout. It's quite impressive. I'm you hitting 30 FPS in this area. Not very often, but it is being hit. Once again, 720p is a no-go. We're just gonna go up here now. I wouldn't even recommend 720p at the 15 FPS, to be honest with you. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. If you enjoy these types of videos I put out, just showing you how these games run on lower-end hardware. We're gonna be doing a lot of videos today, so expect a lot more after you see Shadow of the Tomb Raider. A lot of videos are gonna be coming out today. It's gonna be booming, man. But I'm just gonna mute myself now because I already talked about it. There's not much else to say. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. The entrance must be down there. Got to make my way down. Okay, this should work. Right. This is Commander Rourke. I want the site secured ASAP. When Dr. Dominguez arrives, we all go in together. Units 
get ready. Dr. Dominguez is on his way down. Damn, I better hurry. Looking at that cave. 